It says here you have a degree in theater. Theater, that's right. You're an actor? At one point, yes. You know, I did some acting myself. And you don't anymore? No. What made you stop? Why does a theater guy want to work in equipment financing? Well, frankly, I don't know. I just need a job. I'm sort of pulling myself out of a slump right now, and I'm not sure where to start. On Monday, I opened up the paper to the classified section, because that's what I hear people do when they need a job. And then my neighbor suggested that I call a temp agency, and I did, and they said I had no marketable skills, so. Why equipment financing? Well, um, I was walking past this building the other day, and I was just sort of impressed with the look of the place. And you know, everybody walking in seemed so nice and happy. And, and they all seemed to have a, a sense of purpose in their walk. And, and you know, I want a sense of purpose in my walk. So I walked in and asked if anyone was hiring, and here I am. Yes, you sure are. I like you, Jim. Thank you. I like you. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't offer you a job at this time. Okay. You're a tortured guy. I could tell. I could tell before you got here. Your resume, it spoke to me. There's an earnestness, a sadness. Under objectives you wrote, to find my life's purpose. Would you say you're a sad guy, Jim? Well, not always. You are. Take my word for it. I'm an expert at this. Yeah? I'd like to mentor you. How does that sound? A real life life coach. For you, free of charge. I don't know. Do you think those people who you saw with purpose in their walk always had that? You think they were born driven? That they always knew what they wanted? No. No? No. You helped them find that purpose? No, I didn't. But I can help you. You'll work underneath me as my assistant. Unpaid, of course. An intern, if you will. I don't know. I, I sort of need money. You need to be molded, sculpted. I'm Michelangelo, and you're my David, Jim. Well, come on, theater boy. I mean, calling me theater boy isn't a great start. It actually makes me feel pretty awful about myself. <laughs> I like that. Honesty. I like that a lot. Okay, dinner tonight, 7.45, at Donatello's on Wilshire. I want you to wear a suit and tie. Lesson one, dress the part. Look, I really appreciate the offer, but no, I, uh, no, I can't accept. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Jim! I barely want to get out of bed in the morning. Okay. This morning I looked at my fat wife and my annoying slobbering kids and I thought to myself, who are these people? You know, you're very easy to talk to. Thank you. No one's ever said that to me. 
You don't want to work here. This place will suck your soul. Okay. If I really examine my life, if I really take a look at what I've done, what I've brought to this world, it makes me sick. I've done nothing. I've accomplished nothing. Michelangelo painted the Sistine Chapel, and what have I done? I have 20 people working for me, and I don't even know half their names. I wanted to be a painter. I'm really good, did you know that? I don't know how I would. <laughs> Gosh, you're right. You're so right. Now, what's the point? <laughs> Come on. You're selling yourself shorts. You have a wife and kids who love you. You have employees who I'm sure love working for you. And I have to say the first half of this interview was, was pretty enjoyable. about that dinner tonight, eh? Actually, I, I think I have plans. Here's my card. Thank you. My name is Tim, by the way. Yeah, it says on the card. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you, Tim. Oh no, it's mine.